Hi, I'm Keith from Allen & Heath, and this is the new CQ range. These brand new digital mixers allow you to mix smarter, including assistance and tools to help you at setup and during the show, sound better with Allen & Heath technology and 96K processing, and also to work faster with quick channels that allow you to dial in the mix quicker than ever. So let's have a look at some of these new features. Firstly, let's take a look at the assistants. The first of these is the gain assistant. So with any of the inputs in analog mode, in any of these mic preamps, you can use the gain assistant to auto set the gain. This listens to the incoming signal and brings up the gain to the perfect level. After you've set the gain, the auto gain will be switched on, but you can also switch this on at any time. This makes sure that when the level peaks, the gain is brought back down again, so you still have that perfect gain structure. The second assistant is the feedback assistant. This is available on every output simultaneously and uses up to 16 filters per output to remove feedback automatically. And then we have effects assist. These are available on many of the reverbs and delays found in the CQ and they automatically work in the background, listening to the signal and listening to the frequencies and levels to stop common issues such as the swimming pool effect where lots of signals get crowded and your mix gets very muddy. And then built into every CQ is an automatic mic mixer or AMM. This is available on every mic channel and is great for speech applications such as meetings, broadcast, recording, streaming, podcasts. And this uses a gain sharing algorithm to reduce background noise and really clear up the recording. There are two different channel types in the CQ. We can see this on the processing page. The quick channel types allow you to control multiple parameters in the processing backend with just a few controls. So here we can see one of the drum quick channels. Then there are complete channels. These allow you to get right in deep and tweak all of the parameters individually. And this is the kind of thing you'll see on some of our other consoles. Another cool feature with CQ is if you're using the quick channels and you wanna get a bit more in depth, at any time you can convert these to a complete channel. So that you don't need to eat into any of your mic inputs, the CQ features extra stereo inputs. The first of these is the analog balanced line level input that you'll find on the top here. The second is a USB return, which is really useful if you've got a setup with a DAW and you wanna use that for monitoring, or in a live environment if you play to tracks. And the third is a Bluetooth playback input, which is really convenient if you're playing back background music in between acts. All of these have full processing, either quick or complete channels available. The CQ has a bunch of recording options. There's USB-A, which allows you to record or playback stereo to or from a USB drive. There's USB-B, which allows you to hook up to a computer or a device or phone and stream stereo or multi-channel audio. And then there's SD, which allows you to record multi-track audio and play back multi-track audio for virtual soundcheck applications, but it can also be used alongside the USB-B, so you've got some redundancy. There are three models in the CQ range, so let's have a look at some of the differences. Starting with the CQ-12T, this has got 10 mic or line inputs, half of which are on combi, one stereo balanced line input on quarter inch jack, six independent monitor outputs alongside the main LR, three soft keys, which can be assigned to things like mutes or tap tempos. And it also has two effects engines with the effects assist options. Moving on to the 18T, this is really the flagship of the range. So this has got 16 micro line inputs, the stereo balance line input on quarter inch again, six independent monitor outs alongside the main LR. And it also has a secondary headphone output, which is really useful in production environment where you might have a second pair of headphones, or if you're working with talent and recording to a DAW. The 18T has three soft rotaries, which can be set up as smart rotaries that follow you around as you work through the mixer. And then it has three soft keys, again, which can be set up as you like. You'll also notice that the 18T has this antenna, which is for the built-in dual band auto channel Wi-Fi that allows you to control this remotely. And finally, we have the CQ20B. This is very much like the 18T, but in a stage box format. So now all of the outputs are on XLR. There's an extra stereo line input, an alt output that is assignable, and it has two high Z inputs for plugging in instruments directly. And once again, it's got the built-in Wi-Fi. All three CQ models can be controlled remotely using a free app. 
either using the built-in Wi-Fi on the 18T and 20B, or by connecting up an external router via an RJ45. There are padded carry bags available for all models in the range, as well as rack ears, so all three are rack mountable. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching JBA University.